Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to knit the Irish mesh stitch. It's a beautiful open work lace stitch. It's a simple four row repeat, which means you'll knit rows one through four and then continue repeating those rows until your desired length. And you're gonna to wanna to cast on stitches in multiples of three. So this is my Simply Serene scarf. Um, you can download this free PDF, this free pattern PDF on my website. Just click the link below. Um, and now I'm just going to show you how to complete the Irish mesh stitch. I am using 10 millimeter needles. I am using Loopy Mango, um, Big Cotton, and Barely Blue. All right, so like I said, you're going to want to cast on stitches in multiples of three. I have 12 stitches cast on, and I've gotten the pattern, the stitch pattern started for you, so you can see as we go. But I'm going to start with a row of one. And row one, we're gonna want to start by knitting two stitches. One, two. And now we're gonna begin the repeat. The repeat is yarn over, so yarn over. Slip one stitch knitwise. So we slip a stitch just on the needle as if to knit. Knit two, one, two. And then we're gonna go back to that slip stitch, which should be the third stitch now on the needle. We're gonna pass that slipped stitch over the two stitches we just knit. Okay, so be careful, make sure you keep those two stitches still on. Then we're gonna continue the repeat. Yarn over, slip one stitch knitwise, knit two, one, two. Then we're gonna slip that, slip that slipped stitch over those two stitches we just knit. Be careful to keep those on the needle. And continue our repeat one more time here. Yarn over, slip one stitch knitwise, knit two, pass that slip stitch back over. All right, until we get to the last stitch. And when we get to the last stitch, um, we are just going to knit that last stitch. All right, so that was row one. And row two, we just purl. Purl across the entire row two. Okay, so I'm just gonna purl here. And then we're gonna start on row three. Row three is very similar but we're just shifting where the repeat is. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when we're at the end of row two, we're gonna start row three. Row three, we just knit one stitch. We're going to slip one stitch knitwise. This is the beginning of the repeat, so we're gonna slip one stitch knitwise knit two, pass that slip stitch over those knit two, and then we're going to yarn over, slip one stitch knitwise, knit two, pass that slip stitch over, yarn over, slip one stitch knitwise, knit two, and then we're gonna slip that stitch over, and then yarn over is the last thing we're gonna do in that repeat, and then you repeat all of that until you have two stitches. Last two stitches you're just going to knit two. So as you can see, um, you know, it's not too complicated. You're just shifting where that repeat sits on every other row there. And then the final row, row four, is to just purl to the end. And then you're gonna go back and repeat that row one. And I won't take you all the way across here, but that is how to complete the Irish mesh stitch.